like a light, lighting up in Guys, another day, another fresh, new training set. Feeling good about it. This one is from Rider Wear with the matching track pants. I've been like drooling over this set for probably a year. I'm not even like joking. It's been my dream <laughs> since last prep. I shocked myself by picking the green color, but whatever. I actually usually go for blue, but I quite like it. I am headed to the gym. I don't know if I mentioned it, but we did end up signing up at that new gym that we went to that I talked about a couple of vlogs ago that we did and I'm just just uh, gob gobbling down my pre-workout. All right, I have arrived at the gym. I feel so fucking good, man. Like how can, how can I feel this good? Like the only prep feel I have is that I lost my period and I'm like hungry all the time, but my energy is pretty sweet and my mood is swell and I beat my logbook at the gym every time and my motivation is like sky high. Like yesterday, I had a pretty shit day like on the personal field or whatever. Like my, my normal day was shit, but then I got to the gym and it all just shifted because I had a great leg day and I just felt so good after and I had some protein ice cream and I just lived my best life and suddenly it was not that bad of a day. So yeah, I just feel very happy and um, hashtag blessed and all that. So, so far it's been a fantastic prep and I'm, I'm just so, so happy. I'm gonna head in now to train back and abs and then posing. It's been a while since I forgot the most simple words. delivery all week so this is what I got I got a planner I don't know if you guys remember but I did get one I think it was last year or early this year that expires soon and I also wanted like a smaller version, but I did get it from the same company, Plum Paper Pattern, like Art Deco kind of pattern, and my name. And then it's got the little tabs, and this is sort of what the, the beginning of the month looks like. And I also 
like you can also like customize when it begins so i obviously chose april because there's a lot of stuff happening in april that i want to include in this this is a lot of sort of like the overview and then i chose like this kind of like weekly spread setup and then at the end here we've got reflection notes and some more notes and then it has a little pocket here oh i'm so happy it's gorgeous absolutely gorgeous every time i walk past the mirror i'm like oh quad check if i'm wearing shorts but yeah i'm wearing shorts again even though i'm not tanned at all but i just feel like it's nice to pose in shorts i'm headed to the gym now to do cardio and then abs and posing <laughs> It's gorgeous outside, it's like, it's like 70 degrees and I just finished my cardio and now, ooh, now I'm gonna have coffee, just make coffee, I'm gonna have breakfast, I'll show you guys sort of like a full day of eating type situation. My carbs are getting lower, my high carb day was dropped out, so... Moving forward, I'll be like doing. Sorry, the TV is like so loud. <laughs> but from now on, I'll be doing uh, same macros every day. All right, so we've got strawberries, protein powder mixed with water, oatmeal with <laughs> peanut butter, and black coffee as my meal one. gym and this will be my post workout meal two uh cheddar rice cakes and here we've got brussels sprouts avocado and tuna and a bit of hot mustard over there this one from from walmart so good macros are nice too we are headed out just ordered Starbucks a prep friendly Starbucks so I got a cold brew with three shots of like espresso shots three extra shots three pumps of the sugar-free vanilla syrup and two packets of Splenda's and I also whipped out my summer summer clothing so the the mules are back and the jumpsuits are back this is a really cute jumpsuit that I've never actually used. to study like fully manually uh, both when it comes to like taking notes and also like an actual physical book instead of like a kindle but i will say it's really nice to have like a kindle where you can highlight all you have to do is just mark it up oh. mark it up and like highlight and then like keep reading the overview is like so much easier than if it's say like a like a physical book for note taking i've been using good notes a whole lot just like a notebook but it's obviously on a tablet and it's also really cool because you can search if i search for html here i can find a page where i mention that right there 
for example so i also really like that for studying but i do like enjoy having actual books there's just something about having a bookcase that excites me I will say though i will never start reading like fun books like recreational books on a kindle i would never do that it has to be a physical book that you can hold <sighs> is this good i don't know maybe maybe this is better so this is actually this is my first time prepping with using like macros my last prep i was prepping using a meal plan uh, if you don't know the difference, prepping with a meal plan or prepping using macros. So using a meal plan essentially means that your coach will tell you what to eat and how much of each thing you should eat. A lot of people like it um, because it's very easy to control and to manage and it's very stress-free. Like when you go to the grocery store, you already know what you're gonna get and it's very it's easy to easier to pinpoint if something is not working for you for your coach to like make small adjustments and stuff like that so very easy to manage you can control all variables very easily so a lot of people love prepping using a meal plan just takes a lot of stress away but for me so what i've discovered during this prep is that i far prefer using macros and that is when your coach gives you a set of macros, for example, 200 carbs, 70 fats, 160 protein. So, and then you use an app such as LifeSum or MyFitnessPal and you plug it in there. You plug in everything you eat, you weigh everything, and then you adjust your macros accordingly. And for me, for my psychological, for my for my psyche, I just love it so much more because it eliminates cheat meals, first of all. So say you have a say you have a meal based plan, maybe you have a cheat meal. Um, if you have macros, you can also have like a like an untracked meal, but we have not done that my entire prep. If you want to eat out, you just make it fit into your macros, like that's it. Obviously now that I'm closer to show, I don't have a lot of macros to work with, so I wouldn't be able to go out and like eat a big steak and fries and whatever. It just wouldn't fit, but what's neat is that I don't feel like I want it because since I choose my own foods, I am the master of my own plan. So, say I want a Milky Way bar and then I have to think, you know, like, is it worth it? Because then my meal four is going to be non-existent because I already used all my fats, proteins and carbs on that Milky Way bar that did nothing for me but satisfy a craving. So, I find myself constantly deselecting anything craving wise and just craving food the only thing i've craved this prep has been volume so like more food i want more food but i haven't had a single craving like i've sat next to my husband having pizza and sushi and candy and whatever and i'm like all right cool loving the strawberries in front of me you know like it's been such a liberating prep and i'm very happy with my relationship with food and i'll go more into detail some other time about my previous relationship with food and like how that has affected me and just everything but yeah i just wanted to mention that i've tried both meal plan based and macro based and i must say i was skeptical at first but i love prepping using macros it is just fantastic but i think it would probably har probably be hard or harder for someone who maybe 
has a lot of diversions from their program and like has issues with cravings like I feel like it's a slippery slope like if you start using all your macros on ice cream and like I don't know fried onion rings whatever kids these days eat if you start using all their macros on not nutritious dense foods because it fits your macros it's probably not gonna do a lot of good for your body long term especially when you're closer to show if you have a so-called like dirty prep like where you eat a lot of junk it's gonna start showing like in your water retention and definitely in like your hormones and like how how good you feel so yeah that's a slippery slope but that's a whole nother, another story <laughs> that's up to you and your coach to decide but just want to let you guys know i'm loving macro based prep so if you're on the fence i feel like you should definitely try it all right so i just got back from uh, hanging out with my friend Diana. I'm not naked. I'm wearing like a tube top. <laughs> we went to on a little shopping spree. So let me show you guys what I got. We went to Nordstrom. I got these cute little like disposable masks because we're going um, to New Orleans in in two weeks, and I kind of want to bring disposable masks but not ugly ones. So I got these like little tie-dye tie-dye ones. I thought they were kind of cute. And then I got some earrings. I wanted like little little like classy-ish earrings. These are like little knot type ones. And they're like so bright silver that they look white, which I like. My cat is inside the bag, so yeah, and then I got these earrings, gold, and they're like a little teardrop shaped ish. Yes. And then for the New Orleans trip, I also got, and he's having the time of his life inside that bag. Um, yeah, for the New Orleans trip, I also got sunglasses like this. And I don't know, I kind of like it. I have been chasing something with this, like, I think it's called like a turtle. Is it a turtle? A turtle pattern? <laughs> I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong. But like, yeah, tortoise? Is that the word maybe? Like the little um, brown speckles that many glasses have. So that is what I got from Nordstrom and then we went to Bath and Body Works and listen I haven't been there in a really long time so I treated myself to whatever I wanted ended up with some hand spray antibacterial hand spray and some stress relief oil like body oil I love the way this stuff smells it, it really is like a stress relief thing I have the candle for it and now I have the body oil as well I can just imagine like you know after a long day you take a bath and then you end it with this oil and just, mm, just wake up feeling luminous and then I got a hand sanitizer a room spray this one, it smells absolutely incredible. I want to spray it in here, like in the kitchen living room area so that when you like enter the house, you're like slapped in the face with just amazing scents and you just feel really good. And then I got a body scrub. This one, I do not know what it smells like. I just got it because it sounds nice, <laughs> to be honest. It's medita meditative, medita meditative, meditative, ocean waves. So I'll be scrubbing myself with that. And then I got a candle, just one candle. This one, it smells incredible. That's the stuff. 
one of those, you know, like buy two get one free that you just can't resist. You know what I'm saying? So I got two hand lotions and a body cream. So that was my little Bath and Body Works haul. Carter, he has the bag now. The bag is Carter's. I went to Nordstrom and got you this bag. All right, team. That is it for me. This this vlogging session next week we are officially entering four weeks out from nationals and that is just so exciting <laughs>